From the early days when very few people knew about the web to three years later when a lot of people knew about the web, uh, where in that steady exponential growth would anybody say that the web actually happened? There's nowhere. It was an explosion. The explosion is still happening. The semantic web is in the same phase that there are. If you talk to certain groups of people, they're very excited, completely won over, they're all working using semantic web technology. Other uh, areas, they've heard about it, they've got it on their agenda, but they haven't really got, had time to, to go and do it. The web in the first place was something which solved a particular frustration I had. It scratched an itch that we, you know, I knew that we could make life a whole lot easier here. The web of data, semantic web, same thing, that frustration that I can't pull that data and pull other data and then connect them and see, oh, that's, when did these, how did, when did these publications chronologically fit in with these events? The data web, like the document web, involves uh, standards, document webs as HTML, the cascading style sheets, and so on. All these things are enabled by open, royalty-free standards. Same on the data web. Whereas you represent a document in HTML, you represent data in RDF. RDF is to data as HTML is to document. For some uh, companies that, that are using semantic web technology internally, they're getting their heart. Oh, we can move so much faster. We've got, this is very flexible technology. Uh, if we'd have been using conventional technology, database technology, we wouldn't be able to change our business model so quickly. We wouldn't be able to change the sort of data that we're carrying about our products and our customers so quickly. What we're looking for from the web of data is, in a way, what we've found from the web of documents is a sea change. What we're, uh, when we started publishing on the doc documents on the web, we were publishing documents on the web, so you could go and read some documents. But because you could do it with a click, because a, data, a hypertext link could go to absolutely any document on the web, independent of who that person works for or where they live and what, what language they speak, because that hypertext link is so powerful, there was a sea change in how businesses worked. With data, the sea change may be even greater because not only are we making, allowing people to be able to access stuff more effectively from across the globe, be able to get at stuff which they haven't been able to get at before, but because we, this is data which can be manipulated, we can put machine power into filtering it down. So I suppose I've got huge hopes for the long term. And I think a lot of the people who are driven by the semantic web, in the medium term, yes, we're looking to see enterprise move more efficiently, but also in the back of our minds, there's a very, very exciting long term.